Welcome to the Agent Program Initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like? Taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. Hey, you, I can't let you through looking like that. Come on. Take a walk. Get out of here. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. It might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Right. They won't find him anytime soon. This particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just right act normal. Hold on. That mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. Right, now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. You're in. Well done, Initiate. You don't waste any time, do you? Yeah, I suppose on a boat like this. That is your target, Mr. Ritter. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. I suggest you follow him. See if you can't isolate him. I must say, truly impressive. 
Hmm. No, no, to be expected. No, no. British private deck is off limits for mechanics. If assimilation is the name of your game, you'll need a better disguise. <laughs> well, that's gonna leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. Welcome. Mr. Ritter's expecting you. What'll it be? Just fruit juice for me. Hello there. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another inf... Also who picks his own cabin crew. So already. tread carefully. The target will spot you if you get too close. To eavesdrop on his conversation, try and find a way to blend in. Blending in, I see. Well done, Initiate. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please, uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Well, I was hoping child was the rowing team. Hi. Hmm. Clearly, Ritter doesn't want to be disturbed. Sailor. Try sneaking around the back. Sail away. Saw this painting? Sail away. An original Sail away. Gorka. Thing is, I could have sworn it was so Wow. So you got the blueprint. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk, and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway, some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of Good a- Good work. Now we play the waiting game. years ahead of its time. Maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Wait, was it glass cutter? Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Man of the sea, it's back. Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. 
They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint, it could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. Hey, Stuart. Back already? Buddy, making us look bad. Chew your food, why don't you? Too. I swear to God, Kalista, I think technology hates me. It's a sign, Calvin. You're the finest thief the world has ever seen, but things are changing. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. The Sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Okay. 
Ah, uh, you're not feeling good, are you? Yeah, you know what I always do when I feel under the weather? Herbal oh. tea. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Oh. reasonable. Once again, great work, Initiate. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough, deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult, not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. Jasper Knight is leaving Cuba on a Soviet fighter jet, but first he needs to test the jet's safety features. Huh. Say you could somehow tamper with the ejector seat mechanism. You could presumably get Knight to trigger his own demise. Hmm. That might just work. Okay, stay put. I'll take a look. Yeah.
doesn't make sense. The, the man is like a sitting duck, staying in Cuba. It's only a matter of time before Langley catches up with them. If I was Knight, I'd be long gone. That was the plan. Then Knight pulls a fast one. Now he wants his girlfriend to go with him across the curtain. Naturally, Kremlin says no. It wasn't part of the agreement. Knight says he's got documents on the other Soviet spies in the U.S. Documents that'll leak into the wrong hands in case anything happens to him or his girlfriend. Never have enough security. Cuba. You got tons of rum, but vodka at a military airfield? I know, but at least pretend you're looking. That man is KGB and pretty high up the chain at that. Those guys don't take too kindly to failure. I hear you. The officer in charge has ordered airfield security to get him a bottle of vodka. He will probably offer Knight a drink as well. That is, provided he is able to drag the Grand Master away from his chess game. So Knight kills a guy, poisons him with ricin-coated chess pieces. And his biggest concern is that an amateur almost beat him in chess? <laughs> Told you he was a psychopath. The ambassador was a traitor. He was gonna defect to the Americans. Come on, these guys change sides like the rest of us change underwear. What, like once every couple of years? You know what I mean. Yeah, it's all a game, until you decide it's not. Private. Don't bother me. I have more than enough on my plate.
A drink to calm the nerves, Knight. Not now. Busy. Suit yourself. Well done, yes. Initiate. Just the I should I was say a toast is in order. I appreciate the gesture, friend, but one genius is more than enough. Why on earth didn't I think of that? <gasps> Mr. Knight, join me for a drink. Make that too. I am about to break the sound barrier. To fallen comrades. Not socialism. <laughs> don't be daft, Knight. You people don't go around making toasts to capitalism, do you? Point taken. Nostrovia. <laughs> Close enough. snuck a peek, so shoot me. They might just do that. Those are military secrets. A uh, bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? Friendly advice. All right, I hear you. The slides depicting Knight's escape route from Cuba to his new home in the Soviet Union are ready for pickup at the reception. Desk security expect a soldier to fetch the slides, whereupon the KGB officer and Knight will likely retreat to the upstairs office. Oh, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Right there on the counter. At ease, soldier. Good thinking, Initiate. This should keep Knight's attention for a while. So the Soviet ambassador, he was one of Janice's people. Mm-hmm. Man of peace, voice of reason. The quintessential good Russian. Makes it all the way to the inner circles of Washington. Then, for some reason, he flips. Plans to defect. So on the ah, very night fine. he's supposed to meet with the foreign minister, Jasper Knight, one of Janice's turned American agents, has no choice but to break cover and assassinate him. Does it in the middle of a crowded party, with poison-coated chess pieces. Hmm. Doesn't strike me as the type. Best kind of spy. So this guy might know Janice. I mean, think about it. He might know who Janice really is. Whoever he is, he's probably pretty ordinary. Janice. The KGB's top spy master. Ordinary. As you said, best kind of spy. Apparently, Jasper Knight is demanding that his girlfriend accompanies him to the Soviet Union, and he refuses to leave until he gets affirmation from his superiors in Moscow. The call will come through in the restricted, but otherwise unguarded, radio room. Howdy, trooper. Good grief. You people don't piss about, do you? It's not the Concord, but it'll do the trick. And my Sharon? Special extraction. We launch her into space, then parachute her down from the stratosphere with a lifeboat and a pair of snowshoes. 
Little luck, she'll reach Mermansk in a couple of months. Unless she runs into bears. Wh what <laughs> We'll put her on a plane. Jesus, Knight. You're supposed to be smart. Anyway, that is if Janice agrees to your terms. And that's a big if. He... He will see things my way. Now, give me a moment. I need to learn this plan by heart. Carry on. Lieutenant Colonel. Follow me. Lubyanka's on the line. My superior wants to speak to you personally. Well, uh, about time. Lead the way. Man on the radio. Is it, uh... Is it him? You'll know soon enough. Hmm. So, he has taken an interest. The ambassador I killed was, was one of his spies, wasn't he? Interesting. They say Janice's men Colonel. cannot be turned Colonel. or broken. Hmm? They say a lot of things. All power to the Soviets. This way, please. Good job, Initiate. This should keep Knight occupied for uh, a while. I know that model. Thank you. I'll take it from here. This is Blind Taylor, come in center. Hello, I repeat, this is Blind Taylor, come in center. Getting anything. Just interference. Hello, Blind Taylor calling for center. Are you there, center? Over. Antiquated piece of trash, come on. Center, do you read me, center? Useless. I'm getting nothing but static. Must be that thunderstorm approaching. Come get me when the signal is back. Lieutenant Colonel. Hey, nice threads, buddy. Jasper Knight, 
We gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Must we really? Is it dangerous? Well, it must be, mustn't it? Why else would there be a safety protocol? I'm not crazy about airplanes. Is it going to do that thing where it flips on its head? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Don't worry. You're in good hands. This way, please. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one, strap yourself in. Strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, uh, yes, we found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right. Here it goes. Pull. Get down. You did it. Now head towards an exit. Oh my god, did that just happen? That shit was definitely not part of the plan. Good to see you, man. It's cold today, huh? Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear. Stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47.
you were always the best. Nobody ever came close. You define the art, and it defines you. Your actions have changed the world. Powerful men have fallen by your hand, but by the same token, others have risen. Do you realize what kind of world you've been shaping? Does the ICA? Does your handler? I live in that world. I have seen the consequences. I have felt the cost. That's what defines me.